Okay, hello John. Uh, today I'll be presenting my brand. It's a brand called Femu. It's a shoe brand that I would like to present. So, let's talk about my vision. My vision is to be the first ever brand to innovate clothing to match any situation by starting off with my shoes. Now, my mission is to have products suitable for office and work areas while being able to be used in sport activities. My slogan is Work fast, play faster. Wanting to signify that our brand can be used for work hours and when having fun playing sports. By using the word fast to mean running and of course, yeah, work and play faster. Now, let's talk about my logo. If you can see the outer edges and the inside, these are typical Nordic symbols I like to uh, use in my brand as well. So here's an example of how uh, Norse mythology, how they built their architects and their boats, used it here. Uh, the name Hermut, uh, of course, inspiration from gods of speed. So there was already Nike, Nike, and Hermes, Hermes. So mine is Hermut. Hermut is the god of, the, uh, the god of speed or the messenger god of the Norse mythology. Now, the meaning of the brand. The name of the brand comes from a Norse myth, Hermut, spelled with like, I don't know if you can see, but ancient Norse, which is the messenger god. The word means speed and urgency, which mixes well with speed being the shoes and urgency being how you would feel when you're doing work in an office. Uh, well, speed means, yeah, speed just means fast and all that. Now, let's first talk about my package first, my package design. My, pa my, my package design is simple, the same color as uh, my brand logo, but a box with outer edges being gold t uh, tilted. And of course, the top the lid of the box has the logo. That is it, simple. Now, here is my product line. My product line is, well, classic look, but there are some other uh, features in there. So, let's talk about how my shoes are different. Now, as you can see, it's the outside here, the classic uh, work style shoes, but there are some differences. Let's talk about them. Uh, the heels from up here, these are the heels all the way down to the upper. So the heels all the way down to the upper will be made from velvet leather, giving the formal look in addition, there are small holes all around these sides. Typically in like um, loafer shoes, there are not a lot of holes, but we want to implement the holes because this is of course also a sport shoe. So I want to implement holes here to, so you can like remove the moisture from inside the shoe. Now, let's talk about the outsole. The outsole from here down here. The outsole down to the tip. So usual sport shoes, they would be Enlarged so you can be it can easily be supported, but we wanted to make it so it matches the formal look so It's uh, it mimics the normal sport shoes materials used The inner layer is used with synthetic rubber mixed with some chemicals to make it flexible and strong While the outer layers what we can see will be covered with kelp skin to match the velvet leather. Calfskin is calfskin that use, is typically used in shoemaking. Uh, lastly, let's talk about the inside of the shoes. The inside of the shoes will have the formal look, so the typical loafer look, uh, but it has to be, of course, usable with sports shoes. So it has to be implemented with sports shoes materials, which is the soles inside made by rubber, so it can be durable, grippy, waterproof, and lightweight more than leather yeah that is how it's how it should be made and of course here are the various colors we have one in gray brown light gray dark blue and dark green and of course we styled the H from her mood to have it a golden color in the middle here and yeah that is it for my product line uh, so I'm not sure how you can ask questions, but thank you. If you have any questions, John.
Thank you. How long is 